It's 50 degrees. Today's a fun day. What are we doing today? Supercross. First day of Supercross. Stoked. Got a little bit of rain like two days ago, so chat would be pretty good, I think. It's I'm really excited. cold this morning, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even run outside this morning. Oh, really? Uh -uh. Stayed outside. Did, it, did a spin in a row. You know what I mean? I actually did hear that. Yeah, the, the big fan. Oh, sorry, there was a blanket on there, wasn't there? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The blanket has to be I was going to bring it into the room, but I didn't. Oh, that's fine. So, yeah, super cross day one. I'll take the vlog and oh, show you guys. Go knock some rust off, you know what I mean? It is chilly. It's always, whenever it's cold like this, it's like, uh, so tough to get, if you're, especially if you're like sore, like yeah, midweek, yeah. it's Thursday, you're already sore, kind of like, whatever, and then it's cold, so it's so hard to get warmed up, riding. Yeah, I bet. <sighs> you should wear your hoodie. No. Is that like not a thing? I mean, no, it's a thing. When I lived at club, it was always like really cold in the mornings, especially in the winter. Yeah, can and you imagine how cold it's gonna be in like January? Here? Yeah. It's not that bad. It's like about it's like it's a little colder than this, but it's like 55 right now. Yeah. It feels way colder. I've ridden in the 40s here in California. Yeah. It just feels so much colder because it was like 80 like three when days it, ago. When it gets cold, is when you're testing on days like here. So you go out and you ride and you get sweaty and, and you come like back. pretty hot. Come back and you're like, yeah, you've been sweating. And then you have to sit for a while to have a change. That's cold. Wow. Here, you can wear these gloves. No, I have a glove. Oh, Adrian is the plug. Oh, <laughs> we found him, baby. Are you we found him. Me? Where did you get him? Sam's Club. That is amazing. Wow. Thank you. Dude, I bought what a guy. four boxes of those. Really? I've already gone through two of them. Oh, no. Yeah. This is my breakfast. I think uh, Sam's Club probably just should sponsor you. Or Cheetos. Did I go to Sam's Club like twice a month, maybe? It's like every other week? Yeah, it's. Really? I have a problem. It's just me. I don't know why I buy them both. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Day one. Day one. On like a used a used K2 track, so like they've ridden it on all week, so it was like already kind of rutted and slipped, but it was just fun. I love riding supercross, change it up. So heart rate got pretty high. Feel good. Whoops, we're sick. Whoops are tight today. Actually, they're not. They're pretty like beat up from last year. Really? Yeah. They have like edges on them really weird and they're super slippery. But We're always good in the loops though. I always love the loops. They're fun. We got SoCal Mountains looking like Hawaii. Okay. That literally looks like Hawaii. That's crazy. 
bringing you back to some honeymoon vibes. Best honeymoon ever. Leaving, leaving uh, Tomasco Canyon test tracks. <laughs> Feeling like we're in Hawaii, but we're actually in the gravel pit. <laughs> Yeah, and when we got I, the palm trees. When I first came out here, like when I first started riding these tracks. Yeah, this used to be like. Years ago. This was all not paved. Oh my goodness. Like the gnarliest potholes because it was like had been sort of asphalt paved in, like a long, long time ago. So there was really sharp potholes and I was coming out here to water one night. I think with Derek. But I was driving my Golf. I had a Volkswagen Golf that I bought from someone when I first started coming out here for and a the, thousand bucks. And the L came off so we called it the Golf. Yeah, it was the Golf. And uh. He was in his Jeep and I just came mobbing down here. I was going like 65 down this, 70. Like no exaggeration. <laughs> it was actually the smoothest ride I've ever gone down here because I'm usually like swerving potholes, but I was going so fast that- It all used to be like- I was blitzing potholes. Like this, right? Uh, way worse than that because it had like prior Ooh. asphalt. This taco truck, if anybody's ever over here, which I doubt they are. This taco truck is amazing. You want tacos? No, I want Starbucks. This dude wants tacos. Oh, they're all going to get tacos. Yeah, this taco truck's really good. Right? Is that the same one? Um, the other one is chicken. Mm. Purple. Dang it, I literally was going to say it. I see it too. Have you told the vlog uh, the purple car deal? This is like an ongoing thing. We haven't ever really talked about it that much. No, we did. We had a whole conversation about it one time, and then in every vlog we usually call one out if we're driving, which is pretty much every vlog. Oh, wow, that semi was not happy with that car. I'll tell you uh -uh. that much. I had a great day. How was your day? Great. See, look at the respect right here. I respected that semi. Stopped way back. Did you know that at like uh, fast food restaurants and stuff, that smoke is just like a fake like. That's not smoke off the grill. I thought it was only Burger King it's that did that. It's scented smoke. No. Burger King does that. This is also the cheapest gas no. in the Corona area. In the Corona area, yeah. But if you go towards Temecula, actually basically as far down in Temecula as you can get, uh, with Sinclair. Yep, Sinclair off Temecula Parkway exit. Yep, right by Machanga. 49 a gallon of steel. And the gas station across the street has like Tesla chargers, and there's actually a Wetzel pretzel in that gas station. It's a dollar more expensive. Actually, the last time I was at that, I went to that uh, Sinclair on the way back from riding at Paula, and uh, Fox this Raceway? dude was yeah Fox Raceway. This dude was walking around with clipboards like, "Do you want to stop gas from going up above ten dollars a gallon?" Like trying to get me to sign some petition. I'm like, "Dude, you're like, at the wrong." I'm like, you're at the wrong gas station for that, like. But maybe he's not, because maybe he's at that gas station knowing that everyone goes there to try and get the cheapest gas, so they're all, like, people trying to be budget friendly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that makes sense? Wasn't that the same guy, or, like, same type of guy that was at Target? Same type of guy that was at Target. Better Buzz Coffee came out with this today. Cocoa Cold Brew. So, uh, I'm going to be going there. Probably tomorrow. So that'll be a different vlog, maybe. We're going to sushi tonight. Ooh. I've been like waiting for sushi. For some reason, I've been on kind of like a if we eat out, like enjoying some sushi. And. Because we never eat out. Knowing that we're going to go to sushi tonight with your parents, like we were on, we had a date night, what, a couple days ago? And yeah. I kind of like, I wanted to go get sushi. I could tell. Why didn't we just go there? But because like I wanted to wait to get sushi tonight. Like I want it to be a treat. Because when I get onto something that I really like, I just like go 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 there, and then I burn it out. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. On my birthday, we went to this sushi restaurant in Temecula. It's called Firefish, and it was our first time trying it. And oh my gosh, it was so good. And then we went there. The sushi was like a couple just weeks ago. It wasn't, it, it was good, but it wasn't like. Oh, you don't like it? Blown away. No, I like it. I do like it there. I'm just saying like, it wasn't like, oh, I wouldn't drive to Firefish for the sushi instead of going to Hana for sushi. But their sushi rice is what you're like in love with. And they yeah. have, they have your, uh, 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 
spicy tuna on crispy on rice. Crispy rice, which I think Kana probably has that too. I'm sure they do. I would guess. Honestly, we should ask Joe where the best sushi place is. I did. He said, uh, oh, he did. Sap Sapporo. Sapporo over off our exit. We've never been there. Is Sapporo beer? Brand of beer. Yeah, Sapporo is what you get. No, maybe it's called Sakira. No. The, the sushi restaurant. Look it up on your phone. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna we gotta, go. We this. gotta confirm this. We can't be having. Oh, we're gonna do it right now. Yeah, okay. we can't be giving false information. Honestly, when we went to Nobu though, on our honeymoon, that was bomb. That, that was so good. But that wasn't just like like the sushi that we get. Like, and it was like pretty. This is the one that Joe likes. Nobu's like pretty unrealistically like. That's like it's, a. It's very, very, very high end. It's in a completely different category than the sushi that we eat like around here. We just eat like regular places. I have two favorite meals that I've ever had in my whole life. I know exactly what they are. Okay. And they're tied. Like there's not one front of the other. St. Elmo's Steakhouse in Indianapolis and Nobu. Yep. They're so good and it's fun because we don't get it that often. Barely ever. Once a year maybe. We get once a year we get St. Elmo's and we get, uh, we've only gotten over once ever. Yeah, but it's fun that it's like a treat. But it, those are my two favorite meals that I've ever had. 